Hey, this is Sean with an artist tip of the day. So one of my friends asked me, hey, do you, should you put prices on your artwork on your website or not? So there's kind of this big debate <clears throat> online. You know, should you do it kind of the old gallery system where you put kind of the, the portfolio together, but then you hide the price because they add some mysterious element or so you can price differently to a gallery. What I would encourage is <clears throat> Have your prices the same as the gallery so if the gallery takes a 50% cut you're only gonna make 50% right but they sell the work you don't have to sell it or 30% a cut whatever but you have a price across the board the same and what this allows is someone goes to your website they can purchase the artwork right <clears throat> because maybe they find you on Instagram and they click to your website right or they find you on Facebook and they click to your website or they find you on YouTube and they click to your website you know if you want to sell through the gallery that's fine but you know with COVID that solution really isn't, you know, you can't fully rely on a gallery nowadays. You really have to rely on your own business as well. And so make it easier for the customer. If the customer gets to your website and then he has to call you an email and then send you back and forth. And then um, you can give the email option because maybe they want to bargain you down. And you want to give that option. So put the email link next to the artwork, but allow them just to buy straight away and have it shipped to them. Don't make it hard for your client. You're going to lose customers that way because if it's a hassle for the customers, they get they lose interest after time so that's my tip of the day